Hey everyone, Kevin P. McAuliffe here for Boris FX, and I'm back again with another tutorial. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about a task that just about every editor has run into at some point, and I'm talking about the creation of credit scrolls. You know, whether you work on episodic television, feature film, or even web series, this is a task that in many cases we find ourselves leaving Media Composer to go to a compositing application to create an effect like this when in reality we really don't have to. Especially now with the move to larger than HD projects and our inability to use the title tool or marquee tool, we really need a tool at our disposal, sort of a go-to tool, that we can quickly and easily create this type of effect and again, stay within our non-linear editing application. Well, with BCC 10 and the new title studio effect, we have just that at our fingertips. And in this lesson, I'm gonna show you how quick and simple it is to create credit scrolls and to even take them to the next level by being able to add in logos into them very quickly and very easily. Okay, let's keep our introduction short, let's just get into Media Composer, and let's get started. Okay, so let's command and tab into Avid Media Composer, obviously an alt and tab for all my Windows friends out there, and I'm just going to add a couple of edit points here above my clip that I'm, that I'm going to apply my title scroll to, and I'm just going to hit command and 8 on the Mac control and 8 on Windows to call it the effects palette. Let's head to BCC 10's 3D Objects category. I'm just going to select Title Studio, which you will notice is a real-time effect. I'm just going to drag and drop it right down there. You'll notice the default text appear that says Boris Effects. I'm just going to step into Effects mode here. Let's launch the Title Studio user interface by simply clicking on the button. And I normally like to start out just by deleting whatever text is in the project window. I'm just going to navigate over here to the Create New Media dropdown. I'm just going to choose some flat text. There's my flat Boris effects text by default. Again, we're just going to shrink this down to be about 24 and we're almost set to go. Okay, now you'll notice that by default, my text is sitting here at the left side of the text window, yet it's appearing in the center of the screen here. Now, this is all fine and good if we just wanted to do a very basic title scroll where we're just going to have Boris effects. Like this could be sort of a, a title and a name and a title and a name. I'll just put a couple spaces and we'll do this and you sort of get where I'm going with this. Okay. Now again, like I said, this is all great if you're doing a very basic title scroll, but what if we wanted to get a little bit fancy and have some text appearing in specific places on the screen? So how do we go about doing that? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to take control of our text. I want to actually be able to place my text exactly where I need it to be. And to do that, to start out with, what I need to do is I need to turn text wrap on. Now, as soon as I do that, what's going to happen is, is that inside of the text window, we're going to get a couple of icons that are going to represent the left and right side of my page. Now, you'll notice that down here, the page width is set to be 512. And by default, and this is actually something that I like very well, is that the text is by default sitting on the edge of title safe appropriately enough. And of course, on the other side, it's gonna sit on the edge of title safe as well. If I wanted to push that a little bit, I could just adjust the page width here. Let's make it like 560. And you'll notice that the text is now extended out to the left. And of course, by default then on the right, the text will also extend out on the right an equal distance to represent the new 560 point page width. But I'm just gonna set this back to be about 512, which I think was where it was before. That's looking pretty good. But now what we also have the ability to do is to get in and to actually place this text where we're gonna want it to be. Now, how do we go about doing that? Well, we're gonna do that utilizing tab stops. Now, tab stops are something that are very easy to add into the text window of Title Studio. All I'm gonna do is simply click on the ruler along the top and you're going to notice an icon has appeared that looks like a triangle pointing to the right. That represents a tab stop. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that tab stop and you're going to notice that we have a few options of which we only need to worry about the first three. Left tab, center tab, right tab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this tab stop to be a center tab. You'll notice now that if I come back to my text here and I simply hit the tab key on the keyboard, what's gonna happen is this text is now gonna to jump to the middle of the screen. Now you're probably thinking, well, Kev, that really isn't anything different than what I had before. Well, what's important to keep in mind is that it actually is. First of all, we haven't changed the justification down here to be center justified. And what we also have the ability to do is that if we don't like the way that this text is justified, and maybe I'd rather have it justified so that this tab stop is a left tab stop, I'm just gonna right click and switch it from a center tab to a left tab and immediately now the text lines up left justified. Guess what? That also works with a right tab stop. 
And what's also very cool is that you have the ability to adjust this tab stop wherever you want it to go. So for example, here, to position the text exactly where you want it to go. So what we have the ability to do is to create another tab stop. I'm just gonna leave this as a left justify. I'm just gonna copy Boris Effects here, okay? I'm gonna hit enter on the keyboard and I'm gonna paste Boris Effects in, okay? When I hit the tab key, of course, we're gonna jump ahead to this first tab stop, you know, as expected. But watch what happens when I hit tab again. It's now gonna to jump to that other tab stop and do exactly what that tab stop is commanding it to do, which is be left justified. So again, what we can now do is paste it in, come back to the beginning, hit tab, let's do it again, and you'll see that we can very quickly and very easily create a very stylized credit scroll layout very quickly and very easily. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. In a lot of cases, when I get credit scrolls that I need to create, in a lot of cases, somebody's already created it for me in an application like Microsoft Word or even text edit. So what I've done here is I've created a very basic credit scroll, but I've also laid it out in a very specific way. You can see that I have some tab stops inside of my text document. And what I wanna do is have the ability to import that right into Title Studio. Well, let me show you how simple that is to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna close Title Studio here. And we're just gonna reset this again, just so that we have a clean slate to start with. Again, we're just gonna do exactly what we just did before here. Let's go to flat text. Of course, again, we're gonna select it all. Let's just put it at a point size of about 20 here. And I can actually even delete this because we're just gonna be importing that text. So let me come down to import file. All I'm gonna do is simply select that credit roll. I'm gonna say open and it's gonna appear here immediately inside of Title Studio. Now, of course, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I select this because you'll see that technically this text is almost center justified. I need to make sure that I turn text wrap on just like such so that the text appears where I want it to appear. And now all I'm gonna do is just place the tab stops where I want them to go. Let's just position this one over a little bit, maybe even a little bit more so that we can get it centered in the screen like such. We're almost there, maybe we'll even bring it back a little bit here, kind of like this, okay? And that's looking pretty darn good, just like that. Okay, so let's get in and let's actually make this title scroll happen. And I'm gonna even add in a couple of logos to show you how simple it is to get in and animate. Okay, first thing I need to do is to adjust the color because obviously we don't wanna have black text. What's important to keep in mind is that what it's actually doing here is it's mimicking the text color that I had inside of the credit roll text document. If I made that text white, it would come into Title Studio as white, okay? But I can easily get in and change that. I'm just gonna come in here to the fill color. We're just gonna make the fill color white, okay? I'm gonna come to my controls. I'm gonna come to Drop Shadow. Let's turn Drop Shadow on here. I'll just put the distance at something relatively small. Make it about two, make the opacity at 100, make the softness about three. That's looking pretty good, okay? And what I'm also gonna do now is I'm gonna add inside of this container a couple of Boris Effects logos, so let's do that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna come back to my Create New Item button. I'm just gonna come down to an image file to import this image here, so there we go. There's a Boris Effects logo. Let's just place this where we're gonna want it to go over here. And maybe we will bring it scale down a bit. I'll put it at about 60, and I think maybe I'm just gonna stick it up here. Okay, kind of like this. And we're just gonna assume for argument's sake that we're gonna have another logo. I'm just gonna duplicate the Boris Effects logo again. We'll just take it and we'll just bring it over here. And I'm just gonna bring it south a little bit. Now what's important to keep in mind is that this text is that, you know, it technically is not 3D text, but it still lives in a 3D environment. And if I come back to the main container, you're gonna notice that when it comes to the lights, I only have one light in my scene. And you'll see where it sits right about there, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to undo that. I'm just gonna add another light. Now, of course, it's gonna make everything a little bit too bright, but that's okay. We're just gonna bring the intensity down a bit. I'm gonna put it at about 50. With light one, I think I'm gonna put that at about 75. And I think we're looking pretty good right about there, okay? So let's get in and let's animate this text. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my 3D container. Let's come to my container position. Let's just adjust its Y position here just to move it off frame. Okay. Once we have it off frame, I'm just gonna come right down to the end here. And we're just gonna adjust the Y position again here to bring it right back up all the way up to the top here like such. And believe it or not, we're done. 
you'll see I even have the logos moving with it. Okay, So all I actually have to do now is simply say apply. That text is going to immediately appear in my timeline. I can now come back, hit play, and it's going to play back in real time. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well Kev, this text doesn't look very good, but keep in mind I'm looking at it in draft mode. So if I was to set this at full quality and again come back and hit play again, it's still going to play back in real time. And of course now if I needed to get in and adjust how long I want this scroll to be, that's very easy to do as well. All I need to do now because it's on its own separate layer is simply come in. We're just going to extend it down like such using the extend key. And guess what I've just done instantly? I've now just slowed down the pace of this crawl or this title scroll literally with the click of a mouse. So I hope this tutorial has shown you how easy it is to get in and create what could be very complex title scrolls very quickly and very easily utilizing the power of Title Studio, tab stops, and a little bit of forward thinking. Now, for more information and to purchase Boris Continuum Complete 10, you can simply head on over to the store at the Boris Effects website at www.borisfx.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.